And we love our health segment, just like we like the book talk and the movie talk as well. <laughs> but yes, hello and welcome back to the Sea Morning Show. In this segment, we are going to discuss healthy eating patterns, especially for millennials. But actually, it's applicable for everyone. I yeah, think. it is Great. for everyone, yes. Mm. Uh, millennials, that's the word. I was born in 1994. Making Hi. me a millennial. Yeah, you're you are. Yeah. You're the youngest millennial. Youngest millennial. Yeah. Millennials up to uh, go down to ninety six. I think really? that's the last I generation. I thought ninety five is uh, millennials. Ninety six is uh, ah, the last generation of millennials. But yes, right. Melissa, millennials are called to stay active and also flexible despite the prevalence of <laughs> unhealthy food these days. Is that that's what true? they say. That's what they say. I think this you know? doesn't. Just to be clear, this doesn't represent all millennials, okay? Because I am sure some millennials have good eating habits. But apparently, according to uh, data, millennials are less consistent in maintaining a healthy diet due to various uh, factors. And some contributing factors include rules and unappealing food. And so to discuss more about the matter, how to start a healthy eating habit and to actually maintain it not only for this year's resolution but for good mm -hmm. we have here nutritionist specialist dr putri sakti in the studio good morning dr putri good morning good morning <laughs> lovely to have you here this morning yeah we actually just had breakfast and it's nasi uduk <laughs> So I don't know if that's the that healthy? healthy diet, you know, but we're, we're going to get into that. We're going to get into Go that. Go on. All right. Ask. All right. So uh, first question is, the current millennial generation seems, they say, to be trapped in situations where they eat unhealthy food. Is that even true, though? What do you thought? I mean, For, Dr. From, from, the, from, from your perspective, is that true? Is that true? Millennials eat more unhealthy food uh, compared to other generations? Yes, correctly. Oh, yeah? They, yeah. Have, they have more options. Yeah. yeah, as we know that now, very lots of un, uh, processed food, yep. junk food, or maybe many people like goes to coffee shop, mm -hmm. yes. a restaurant with lots of uh, yeah processed food. Yeah. It, of course, has lots of impacts to their health. Yes, mm -hmm. and coming from me, who is a millennial. And I am too, by the way. I'm the older millennial, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> so, but but it's easier uh, now to order food online. Yeah. Makes us more somewhat lazy to make our own <laughs> food at home. So we eat more processed food. You're right, yeah. doctor. We eat more processed food. Uh, besides, yeah, we eat more processed foods. Yeah, I yeah. just noticed that. So how do we build? I, yes, go. Ahead. I, I order something every day instead of cooking. <laughs> that's that's not healthy. <laughs> Well, you know what? My colleague yeah. just had this realization. It's like, I just, uh oh. You know what? <laughs> I'm quite unhealthy then. Thank okay. you for. Oh, okay, I'm going to ask you some more questions, doctor. Do you have any more questions for the doctor? Well, you're day? completely shocked. I'm in shock. I'm in awe. And winded I'm in awe right by now. that realization. So, do you have any tips, doctor, especially for whoever? Yeah. Who think that oh, you know I need to fix my eating habit? How do we how do we start and make sure that this new good habit is maintained throughout our lives? Yeah, of course. First, you need to find your motivation mm -hmm. and especially to your uh, health. Yeah, and then you can change your daily habit mm -hmm. just step by step. Mm -hmm. I mean, like if Ralphie want to buy some maybe a uh, croissant. Yes. Yeah, you can you can change it like choose better option like uh, croissant with egg or with oh. tuna inside. Protein. Yes, mm -hmm. have lots of protein. Uh, then you just buy like butter croissant. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or maybe if you want to sweet things, mm -hmm. you can change to almond croissant. Ah. Mm. So, you so make sure you have to have the right uh, protein amount of proteins yes. amount of fibers correct yes uh, just besides just carbs you know yeah. you have to mix it all together all the vegetables right. and fruits as well don't forget about that so that's how you actually maintain a good and healthy diet right doctor yeah and then you can change your drink maybe mm -hmm. you can choose like juice uh, or maybe if you want to drink like coffee mm -hmm. you can step by step change it like less sugar and then yes. 
next week maybe you can change to the sweetener or maybe mm -hmm. next week again you can start to no sugar at no all. No sugar at all. And that's true actually that's because true. we can actually still enjoy what we love. Like for example, I think for the past, I don't know, like for the past decade, mm -hmm. I would Probably say. <laughs> uh, well, what would you say? That my eating habit is pretty good. Oh, it's good just for because, you, like, for example, coffee, right? Yeah. yeah. Dr. Putri said it's like, yes, of course, it's okay for us to enjoy coffee, and I don't take sugar in my coffee at mm -hmm. all. Yeah. yeah. And for example, with juice, if you want to have juice because it's just nice to have juice, right? Just choose the fresh ones. Yes. yes. Right? right? Buy your own fruits at the supermarket or at the market. Uh, choose your own products because you will know the quality of the products as well that you're buying and then you just juice it yourself and when you're juicing actually what I love doing mm -hmm. because there are two kinds of juicer audience members yeah. audience members yes, yes. one is uh, w one a juicer actually uh -huh. uh, does actually gets rid of the fiber from the juice so you only get the juice itself but what i do is i use a blender instead okay so i actually drink and consume the fiber as well which is very good for our gut exactly yes and yes. then in my diet basically i put more vegetables and fruits mm -hmm. compared to uh, i love carbs by the way doctor yeah. i still eat rice Who I doesn't? Eat every day. exactly Who doesn't? like this morning we have nasi uduk you know it's like it's okay but yes. make sure that you always have your fruits and vegetables and yes. if you like your cakes you can have it not every day not every yeah. day once a week not hey. at night less frequency and not, less yeah. portion right yes yeah. not at night as well before you go to sleep yeah you That's said it as if it's your experience is it yeah <laughs> No, I think I just had cake last night. <laughs> so, I was looking uh, for a term, whole foods, right? Yeah. It's correct. Whole foods. Yes. yes it's correct. way better than processed food. Yeah. Yes. Because you actually process it yourself. And yeah, it's just whole foods is way better. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, it's for your diet, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, is the habit of eating snacks determinal to our health as well? Mm -hmm. What's a healthy snack? Yeah, healthy snack, you can choose like uh, fruits or maybe roasted nuts, almond, yes. or maybe yogurt, yes. something that more nutritious for our body, mm -hmm. that just uh, like more calories but less nutritious. Yeah. Okay. Like for example, potato chips. Yeah, Ooh, correct. Potato chips, I mean, that's not a good snack to have every day. Yeah. No, and they taste good, but... <laughs> I'm not talking about the taste, We're right? both like, oh. all these foods, they taste good. Mm. <laughs> but you know what? I have another tip. By what the way, it? and doctor. Yeah. I mean, see if you approve of this or not. We love French fries, right? Okay. It's so good. But what I do is that I buy the potatoes from the market. Yay! Chop them up and put it in the air, air fryer. fryer. Yeah. Right. That's the yeah. <laughs> is that better, doctor? Less oil, yes. Yeah. So that's better. Yeah. To air fry. Yes, okay. it's better if you use your air fryer because yeah. less oil. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You can control your cholesterol, mm -hmm. your cardiovascular risk. Mm -hmm. There you go. Oh, that's there nice. you go. And carrots. Speaking of snacking, some people actually like to snack uh, celery, carrots, right? Or I know one of them who loves carrots. Who? Bugs Bunny. <laughs> he loves carrots. He loves his carrots. Ravi, I love you. <laughs> you, you make my date. <laughs> <laughs> but but because of him, I watched Vogue's Bunny as a kid, right. and I love eating my carrots that way until now. <laughs> yeah, that is so cute. Is that healthier is that to healthy eat though? it raw? Yeah, raw uh, raw vegetable like uh, carrot. Of course, we can uh, maintain the nutrition mm. inside it, like vitamin A mm -hmm. or antioxidant like beta carotene inside there. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, raw are carrots there, then. Yes. Are there any vegetables that are actually better consumed nutrition-wise when it's cooked? Yes. Because, yeah. Like spinach. Spinach is better when cooked. Yes. Okay. 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 Than raw spinach. Right. How about ca carrots are better raw? Raw. Oh, but carrots are better raw. Uh, spinach are better cooked. Yes. Uh, is there any else yeah. uh, type of vegetables that are better uh, way to consume it raw, neither to cook it? Uh, mostly of vegetables, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. better if you consume with raw condition. Oh, yes. but just some vegetable that you need to cook like um, mushroom, 
mushrooms. Yeah. Oh, that's what the vegetables. Okay, mushroom okay. and spinach. But Brussels sprouts you have to cook, otherwise it's like Brussels sprouts. Yeah. Yeah, you I mean, to. otherwise it would be too bitter. I love Brussels sprouts. I, <laughs> <laughs> I do too. Yeah. So uh, those are the vegetables that are better to eat it when cooked, right? Yes. Yeah. Let's let's Finish list it trumies. down. Let's list it down. Mushrooms, Mushroom. spinach, yes. Brussels sprouts as well. Mm -hmm. Better when cooked. Mm -hmm. The rest of them you can eat it. Raw. raw. Yeah. And it actually it is better to eat it that way. Yeah. Yes, okay. correct. Okay. And speaking of eating, we all have different eating patterns. Yeah. Right, doctor? I mean, because oftentimes people would probably watch a program or read a book or read an article somewhere and they try to sort of fit into what is written or what is told when mm -hmm. actually our body is designed differently in a way and it works differently is that true yes it's it's better if you can consume your um, food with your personal uh, personal body's uh, mm -hmm. needs of mm -hmm. course mm -hmm. and everybody has their personal age gender or maybe uh, specifically you can uh, train your nutrition with your genetics Okay. Right now we can mm -hmm. we can test it with nutrigenomic test. Okay. Yes. So it will one size doesn't fit all pattern. Mm -hmm. No trial and error diets anymore. Yeah. So it will yeah. the best way to. What is this called again? Nutrigenomic the test. Nutrigenomic test. Yes. Okay, and you we can, can do it. that where online? No, actually, oh. you just go in your you get your blood tested. Uh huh. And then, uh, no, no. You can use your saliva. Oh, seriously? Ooh. Because ah. it's better if we can check it from yeah. the baby. Yes. Yeah. So that they don't get allergies and stuff. So we know yes. exactly what they can eat yes. that will maximize their health. Yeah. I think one so, of our colleagues have done that with uh, her son. Oh yeah. Yeah, Crazy Alexa. Oh. Yeah, because her son at one point when he was a toddler, he was, you know, he was not feeling well quite often, mm -hmm. and Crazy was like. What is going on with my baby? He's, he seems to be allergic to this and that. And I don't know what to feed him. He's like, I love my baby. I need to feed my baby. Mm -hmm. So she did that test. And then they came up with a list like, okay, your baby uh, will basically react positively to these ingredients or these yes. kinds of food and not react or have allergies on this kinds of food. So she started avoiding feeding the no go list. No go list. So it's you can. Fine. So the baby's healthy. Yeah. So oh, that's good to hear. Yeah. Then. Uh, so you can do it on a clinic, a yeah. hospital. Yeah. 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 All right. Okay. I've seen it before. I'll send you the link. Oh, we'll do. Yeah. Have, you, have you done it? I was interested. Actually. Okay. I was interested. Maybe we can do it together. Uh, let's go. Let's go then. Uh, 2024 New Year's resolution: <laughs> healthy diet. Yes. Let's go. Okay. okay, doctor. Is there yeah. any other tips again? Because we are starting a new year right now, 2024, <laughs> and each and every year, people has their resolution <laughs> is to be healthier, eat good food, uh, <laughs> run maybe, <laughs> put out a healthy diet. Mm. So, is there any tips from you? For uh, our friends who are watching at home, who has who has their resolutions to be healthier. Yeah, just change step by step from your old habit. I yeah. mean, so it will t not total for you to do that. Yes. So you can enjoy, mindful to enjoy your new food, new habits, and you can use twenty one ninety uh, methods. Oh, what's that? Yeah. If you are doing some ha new habits yeah. at 21 days, yes. you will enjoy that. Mm -mm. Okay, but stick to 21 days. Yeah, okay. if you add to 90 days, mm -mm. Three months. it will be your habit. That's correct. Okay, so 20, I believe that. 21 days. 21 days, you will you you begin to enjoy, will enjoy it. Okay. And then you have to continue yeah. until, 90, until days. 90 days and then it will become a habit that you don't think about it anymore. Yeah. Okay. Like for example, I don't think about, uh, whenever I have coffee now, I don't think about putting sugar. It's like, yeah. ugh, I'm like putting sugar in my coffee. Mm -hmm. It's like, ugh. Or consuming too much sugar, like in a cake, when a cake is too sweet. Mm -hmm. Even when I bake now, I just reduce the, the, the sugar by half, for mm -hmm. example. Uh, it's just because our body has adapted yes, and is accustomed right. to the new habit. Like for example, Ralphie, yeah. if you, <laughs> if we uh -huh. stop having a zero joke in the morning for breakfast. Oh no! <laughs> 
oh, no. for 21 days. Instead, you have salads or apple, like our colleague Indra Marpaung. Right? <laughs> <laughs> he looks great now. He looks, he looks a lot incredible, of weight. He looks incredible, by the way. I know. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, do that for three months and you'll have apple for breakfast every, every day. day. With, oh, the occasional, with the occasional nasi uduk. Okay. With the occasional nasi uduk, which yeah. is still okay. Yes, yeah. of course. Just keep it balanced. Keep it balanced. Keep it right here. In moderation. That's In my motto. Yes. Yeah. In moderation. Always. Always. With Always. Everything. Always. Everything in life. In moderation. There you go. There and you mindfully. Go. And mindfully. mindfully. And Thank you. And remember, it takes 21 days, just 21 days, yes. to start a new habit. Yeah. And within 90 days, you will enjoy that habit. It's the other way around. Oh. <laughs> 21 days. You enjoy? You enjoy? 90 days. days it will it be becomes a habit. <laughs> <laughs> I think. I got a little switcheroo right there. This is the Nasi Uduk brain. It's the Nasi Uduk talking right here. <laughs> and well, thank you for coming here, Doc. Yes, thank you so thank much. Thank you very much. <laughs> All right, thank you so much, Dr. Mutri. Ah, uh, health talk. I, I just love doing talk shows with you. You always come up like things that will make me cackle and just like bright my day the whole day. Anyway, we'll be right back uh, after the break. <laughs>